In this video we, uh, we will uh, set up cars in the next level and when we will select car from main menu we should uh, uh, the same car should be appear in next level so for that purpose we will just uh, first of all we will add one uh, button here uh, for playing the uh, for play button so here we will say public wide play game like this and on this button we'll just add scene management dot load scene so actually my mouse just just a second okay so now uh, here we will add first of all scene management on the top unity using unity engine because we will choose scene management dot scene management so now we can use scene management here so we will say scene manager dot load scene and we can name the scene or we can load the index as well so first uh, uh, level will be 0 and the other will be 1 so uh, we will go to unity editor again and uh, uh, inside the editor we will select the play button okay, so play button and then we will click function on click we will add the shop manager we will add shop manager here and play game function okay uh, so now when we click on this we will be imported to next level but for that purpose for loading the levels we also need scenes to be in build index so we will go to build settings we will add main menu on zero and level one on one okay that's nice now the second thing we want to open the same uh, 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 the s we need same car selected car and next many uh, level so we will open the level one and in this level we will first of all create hierarchy so here we will add a create empty object and we'll say for example buses like this whatever name you can assign and then i will just uh, select the buses here and uh, this empty object we don't need where it is so i will just copy the component and i will just paste its value here okay so now we will add the bus here and uh, definitely okay let's add buses from the prefabs again so just go to prefabs go to buses and the first bus will be purple the second bus was blue i think third was green fourth was yellow so purple uh, and then blue then green then yellow okay so we have added these buses into this game object empty game object uh okay so these buses are at the same place and from this place we want to start our game so you can definitely place these buses at your own points uh, it's up to you and then we definitely need a script for initiation uh, initial uh, initialization so here we will say select bus for example and we will open the script okay so the first thing we need actually the same uh, thing there as well so I will just copy this thing uh, okay and copy this and we will paste it into select bus script okay so now uh, uh, what we will change is that uh, we have bus models player prefabs 
here is also fine and cat int is fine that set int we don't need now because it's already set and I don't know it will be applied here or not anyhow we will check okay we will change this bus model's name okay bus is okay let's make it like uh, bus is like this okay bus is and buses it's not uh, necessary but uh, you can do that so this is also fine this is also fine so that's nice i think it should work so uh, now we will move to uh, buses here in unity editor we will add our select bus script here we will add buses here size will be 4 enter and the first bus will be purple bus then blue then green I am confused with this green and blue bus numbers but let's see what happened so now we will again move to scenes and we will go to main menu let's play the game and let's see what will happen so for example we are we will select yeah blue second so that's fine let's select green one and play let's see yeah that's nice you can see we have green bus here and it's absolutely nice everything is working absolutely fine that's it for this video. In next video, we will move further. Allah Hafiz.